What's up guys, welcome to another video. You join me on the port in Monaco once again. And as you can tell behind me, I have two cars today. We have two very similar cars, but yet very different. Two Delara Stradales. These cars are limited to only 600 that will be produced worldwide. But I was walking around them in the Stars Monte Carlo dealership earlier and noticing all the differences. And I thought it might be something you're interested in. If you love this car, if you've never heard of it before, just how crazy you can go with the spec and how much of a difference it can make. So this is kind of perfect that we can have a kind of standard car behind us and then another one with a massive, massive spec. So if you come close, first of all, let's talk about the color. This one is obviously yellow paint. Now it has around it various different carbon fiber details like the wing mirrors uh, down on the side sills and around front with the front splitter. So the carbon fiber are just little accents around the car, but the main body color is painted. All carbon underneath, but painted over that. That is the standard look. You can opt to have fully exposed carbon fiber like this car. So you can either get it in fully exposed black carbon like you've got on the engine cover right here, or in fully exposed colored carbon fiber like this one, which is green. Let's quickly talk about the engine in this thing. It is a four cylinder, 2.3 liter turbocharged engine producing 400 horsepower, which is a lot of power considering that these things weigh just over 800 kilos. Absolute track weapons. You'll see when we look at the interiors, they are beast. I actually did a very quick video driving one of these, that one actually. which I'll link around so you can see it. Today, we're just gonna be talking about the spec and the car. But yeah, they look awesome, I think, but mainly these things are meant to be used on track. That's also reflected in the options. So you can get uh, sporty suspension options, you can get larger rims, which both of these have, and that makes them obviously a little bit more performing on track. Now, another massive option is this wing. So you may notice on the back of this car, it's completely flat. There's no wing, just completely flat rear. The wing adds 820 kilos of downforce at 280 kilometers an hour. So this thing properly sticks the rear of the car down. And obviously, if you're on track, the downforce you'll be getting through the corners is not to be underestimated. The spec on this is basically fully specced. So you've got the wing, you've got the exposed carbon fiber, and you've also got these little uh, butterfly doors, winglet doors. So you can opt to have it fully, fully exposed. So you can even have it, if it's standard, without the windscreen. So this one's purely got the windscreen option just to be able to drive it around town a little bit more, but no roof and no what they call T-frame, which comes around the middle, which you can attach the doors to. This one, however, has the whole lot. So it's got the T-frame, which comes around here, as you can see, attaches and then allows you to attach the doors. You can take the doors on and off in about 30 seconds if you fully want to remove them and run it kind of as a speedster. But this one's got the doors, which you kind of have to climb over. So that's another option. The interiors on these come fully specced in carbon fiber. So that is actually standard. You don't need to option that. This one's also got a little camera behind the front seats um, so that you can film yourself when you're on track. It's also got a little plaque which says 399, that is the production number of this car. Now obviously if you're going to be taking this on track, uh, you need to decide whether you want it to be fully exposed carbon because you may be getting a few scratches on these, but they are awesome looking things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into the yellow one so that you guys can see the interior pretty easily. So to get in, all you do is you step over here, there's a little plaque where there's written step here, which you step onto, then you climb in like this, it's not the easiest thing and you sit all the way down in this carbon fiber monocoque. So when you're in, you're properly strapped in. So full Alcantara steering wheel, all of your buttons are on here. So you've got your indicators on here, kind of like you'd have on a Ferrari. You've got your horn, you've got your lights, and you've just got all the controls you could possibly need. Now this one having no doors, it's all completely open. And it's a pretty wacky feeling. You can get it in a six speed manual like this one or flappy paddles like the green car has. Now, what's pretty cool about this is kind of like either a Ford GT or a Ferrari LaFerrari. You just adjust the pedals and the steering wheel, but the seat itself is actually strapped to the chassis of the car. So uh, you don't actually move this. So you're fully put in here in this position, which really holds you in and you just move everything you need towards you. You've then got the windscreen wipers up here, washer fluid. It has got AC, which in this one is probably not that useful, but more in the other car with the doors up would come in handy. And then down here, start, stop, hazards, and your traction control buttons. Obviously, manual parking brake as well, but it's a pretty cool place to be. You literally 
feel like you're in a race car because you basically are this is the epitome of a race car for the road and having it with a six speed manual is uh, pretty cool as well so if we just hop around i'll show you what it's like when you get into the fully specced car with the doors so you can see a bit how it is once you're in with the roof so if you hop in i'm going to hop into this here this being a full race car you've obviously also got the full harness and then if you close the door you just grab right here close that door like that and you're in so this is where your air conditioning and stuff will come in a little bit more handy this one you've also got adjustable esp so you can pick ooh, little noise from a g63 there so you can adjust your esp to have it either in sport or normal and that kind of tightens things up a bit and obviously you've got your flappy paddles behind here now no buttons for the gearbox everything is done via the paddles so right to go up left to go down pull both to go into neutral and then the left paddle to go into reverse which you need to do from neutral it's a really really cool car i didn't really know too much about these so that's why i really wanted to share it with you there's not that much information out there and the fact that stars monte carlo have two of these available but also they're the official dealership so you can go in and you can spec one is pretty cool and when uh, johnny from stars monte carlo was talking to me about how much you could change from one spec to another i just thought i'd share that with you for this video on a friday which is always about someone else's car but i hope you enjoyed that guys i hope you enjoyed a little look around these absolute beasts they're beautiful the lara obviously a company the cars are built in italy but they've actually got a massive track record in terms of helping build parts for the la ferrari they build a lot of the main parts for bugatti so massive track record it's not a new company which has come out of nowhere they've just suddenly decided to produce their own car the stradali so yeah anyways if you guys are interested all the links and instagram for stars monte carlo is going to be down below massive thank you to them obviously for letting us film this video with the car we're now going to be able to have a little bit of a drive back to the dealership in one of these but yeah pretty special thank you guys for watching as always if you haven't already why don't you hit that subscribe button down below and join us for more videos like this which i hope you find from time to time informative about some cars and potentially new cars like this as well anyways guys cheers and bye bye